Ivy, and I live at Earth Haven Eco Village, which is in the Appalachian Mountains near Asheville, North Carolina. I've been here 20 years, and I'm a single mother. I worked at Red Moon Herbs for four years, which is a small herbal company. I was the harvester, grower, and medicine maker, and I managed the interns up to eight at a time. With this grant, I will be building a solar dehydration shed and funding an apprentice to help me expand my business. I guess people know that there's a problem. The planet is in trouble. People, they, they spend a lot of time in boxes and then they drive in boxes to their office, which is a box, and they work really hard and then they come back home in a box and then they go to sleep and then they start it all over again so that they can take a vacation and get access to nature. Mm, so your project's really working outside the box. <laughs> yes, my project is working outside of that box. Mm -hmm. You don't need very much if you're already on vacation for your life. This is Hidden Valley. It's one of the beautiful forest areas at Earth Haven that has a great understory that we've been establishing and a potential for amazing um, understory restoration in the future. We're so blessed to live here. This is such a wonderful opportunity. When you learn in a context that is hands-on, um, it's easier to replicate that at home and to get it both in your body and in your mind. It's not an idea, it's an action. It's so beautiful. This is bloodroot. It's really good for the gums and healing the gums. Plants have so much to offer. They are so magical. Living this life is such a gift. This is how we empower the plants, through creating habitat and conservation like this. Once we've created habitat for plants and abundance, then those plants can then offer all kinds of healing and business opportunities to empower the people. Recreating the connection between plants and people. It's oh, that's St. John's wort. Yes! It has a wonderful relationship with the sun. It fights um, seasonal affective disorder. It's an antidepressant and antiviral. Dominator culture, which is all about colonization um, with the economy of the sustainable culture, is what this project is all about.